going on YouTube family? Um, I wanted to speak on the XT6 uh, V variation that has been spread around the YouTube, uh, around the internet community. Um, I think that thing is badass. Uh, I brought it up on my community. Um, I said I wanted to talk about it. It's supposed to be an SUV, 755 horsepower, all wheel drive. It's supposed to be a competitor to the Trackhawk. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty badass if they come out with something like that. I think it's a rendering that somebody made up, uh, but it is pretty badass. Um, now, speaking on the size, it's actually the size of a Durango, a Dodge Durango. If you guys are not like familiar with the Durango, it's kind of a bigger SUV than the Jeep. Um, and they're saying that it, people are like comparing it to the Trackhawk, but I think from that angle that everybody's seeing it, they're not really knowing that the xt6 is actually kind of a bigger very it's not as big as an escalade i'll say but it's kind of like that size um so the size variant that'll be more towards the jeep will be a xt5 which would be the shorter version now if they made a v variant of that then that i feel like that'll be compared to the jeep um but that xt6 v variant that i've seen i'll post a picture man that thing's fucking badass you guys see it in the thumbnail that thing is it's, it looks badass um excuse the helicopter i don't know if you guys can hear it but i was detailing earlier and i see a helicopter just keep circling the area circling the area and i was at a customer's house and as soon as i pull off i was like being curious being nosy i go around the block to see where the helicopter was and i see some guy getting yanked out the woods snatched up putting handcuffs everybody's jumping on him all the cops so that was a pretty crazy situation but i think the helicopter's still circling around um i'm sitting in the v currently I was going to pull it out today, but back on the uh, subject. So do you guys think that'd be a good comparison to the uh, Jeep Trackhawk? Um, you know, uh, Cadillac came out with the CT6 uh, V variant, which is a 4.2 liter V8 twin turbo, 550 horsepower. Um, it doesn't make as much as a CTS V, but it is twin turbo. So there's more like, I guess, room for you to make power off of, but I have yet to see any power or uh, modifications done to a CT6 yet. Um, it is a $100,000 car too, but I think that's pretty crazy because you guys know they canceled the CTSV uh, models. They're not gonna make those anymore. So it's gonna, the V will still go on. So it'd be like a CT6V, the XT6V, which could be that SUV that we're talking about. Uh, maybe a little small variants of other cars, but the CTS, the cars that we have, or that I have and some of you viewers have on the channel, you know they're not, those are, these are the final models. The V3 uh, is the final model of it. Um, but as far as comparing it to the Trackhawk, I feel like it'll be a beast comparison because the Trackhawk is what, 707 horsepower. This XT6 V is 755, which I believe is the ZR1 motor. Um, and it's gonna be all wheel drive, just like the Jeep. The only thing is the weight, because you know it's gonna be bigger um so i'll post some some regular pictures of an xt6 right here with a side so you guys can see the comparison to a jeep and then i'll post the xt5 size so you can see a comparison to a jeep so you guys can know what i'm talking about but i think that thing will be raw um because dodge you know you guys know dodge um they throw fucking big motors and every damn thing they got a what hellcats scat packs demon they got everything like they just throw it in there you want power you got power you now cadillac on the other hand chevy gm most of the, our vehicles are, are per, per, like going towards the corvette or camaros those are already sports cars that you know and then they they the power isn't like wild you know now the zr1 that's probably like a wild car you know 755 horsepower but the ctsv was that era where they threw some power in a sedan and some crazy power in a car and that's why it's so iconic for what it is um one of my subscribers sent me a video about, uh, I forgot what channel it is, but they always make videos about um, cars and stuff like that. I'll post the, the screenshot of it right here or a picture of it right here. But, you know, the CTSVs went away. So now it's like, what's going to be the crazy car for Cadillac now? What's going to be that crazy car for GM now since they're canceling the CTSVs? Uh, so I think they're leaning towards the bigger model cars like this XT6V which will be a crazy uh, like variant if they come out with it. Um, I'm not sure if they're coming out with it. I've seen it in, um, what's oh, that? Reloaded. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, Omni and the Hellcat. 
he was that at a, a tuning shop and somebody was showing him a picture of it. So it's definitely getting around the internet, the picture of that SUV. Cool. And that shit, that I know there's a the high demand cat. for it. Everybody's been saying, oh, I'll take this over Trackhawk. I mean, I would. He's doing it coming after that Jeep. I, I assume that with it being a newer Cadillac 2020, the interior on that thing is going to be like fucking crazy. Uh, especially if you get like a nice navigation, if they put it to where you can uh put sport mode and check like kind of like pages on a um dodge you know dodge has the pages and stuff you can go through and check like your your uh, horsepower torque number if they could do that on that suv and have the dash really nice and stuff like that man that would be a beautiful suv but like i said the only thing is it's a bigger variant it's actually like a durango style um suv so it's a bigger model not like a jeep jeeps are a little bit smaller um basically like a trailblazer if you guys know what a trailblazer it says it's like a smaller suv now if they make like a xt5 in that variant with a v and that 750 man that thing would be crazy that, that would be crazy but i think i think they're kind of sticking to a bigger model um they don't want to throw it into a smaller model which i understand there may be some things in the xt5 that may not be able to handle it the all-wheel drive system may not be able to handle it in that shorter wheelbase um, but who knows? You never know. They might come out with because you know you guys know there's an ATSD, there's a CTSD. So maybe uh, they might make a uh, XT5, but it might be like a like a twin turbo V6 or something all with drive. You know how uh, GM does. They never really put the big motor into the smaller vehicle. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below because I really want to have a conversation, see what you guys think about it, and compare it to the Jeep. Um, I'll be replying and commenting down there. And I want to have a conversation about it. Um, I'm trying to make a video about the V and a good edit. And then I want to do a link up with you guys. Uh, I wanted to uh, try to meet up and have like a lot of the V owners come down or I can meet somewhere and have like a big meet. And then probably do like a cookout. I can bring like hot dogs and try to get pizza or something and meet up with like a lot of the subscribers who are supporting the channel. And just link up so you guys can check out the car. I can check out you guys' cars if you have questions on certain things that are done. and Stuff like that where i get some certain specs you have to ask me and we can link up something like that i'll try i'll try to get something like that going um but i appreciate all the support i appreciate y'all tuning in leave a like and subscribe but uh hit that like and subscribe button uh follow me on instagram it's the same as my youtube channel heard the nerd i need more uh followers on instagram um i post like fitness my car stuff on there as you guys know heard the nerd is it's like my branding I, i'm more than just it's more than just cars for me i do everything i do gaming fitness the cars but cars has been a big thing in my life so I, I am gonna post a story on how i got this car and where i came from how i came from a 93 toyota corolla and worked my way all the way up to this um i'll, I'll make a, a video about that because i had a subscriber say he wanted to hear the story so i definitely have to sit down with you guys and tell you guys how i made it and that you guys could do it too it's possible it's, it definitely is possible it's not hard um but stay tuned man i appreciate y'all tuning in all right I'm gonna show you guys what the bullets look like, what I'm planning on doing to the exhaust on here. So, so those two. They're very, they're very similar to the SLP bullets. They're a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're more quiet. Yeah, right. They don't sound all weird and shit hollow, hollowed out. Okay, so they're gonna be right here. So whenever you have your exhaust and whenever you see the car from the rear end, let me see. You'll be able to see those two bullets right there and it'll look so much better then it'll quiet it down so it doesn't have like a lot of raspiness noise and everything so that'd be nice so how much for these two this one right here they usually go about 165 to start yeah. you know like these we have a special like two 290 for both of them that's what's up get those on your v with the x pipe it sound real good